222 day we will be talking about Constellation DAG, which is a digital asset that I have not talked about too much. However, especially at its current price, I have picked up a ton of interest in it. And it is heavily involved in creating infrastructure in the US government. I have talked about probably two thirds of the cryptos on here like XDC, Casper, Quant, XRP, HBAR, and XLM. However, DAG, which is shown here with its connection into the Air Force, is an extremely interesting one in my own opinion because the US government tosses around a ton of money each and every year, especially in the Department of Defense in which DAG has a ton of extremely unique connections and applications. It operates on a proof of reputable observation consensus, and it does not have any transaction fees with a four to 5,000 TPS. It is also interesting because it is a DAG, which is a directed acyclic graph, which can be compared to how HBAR works. As far as its price goes, we're just under three cents at the moment, and its all-time high is about 41 cents in 2021. Its market cap is only 83 million, which puts it at about 400th in terms of its coin market cap ranking. Its tokenomics are interesting because it has about 77% of all of its tokens out there with a max supply of just under 3.8 billion. And just in the last few months, it has hit right at a nine cent price. So in my own interpretation and for my own purposes, I think it is at an extremely attractive price point. So as far as this content t today goes, it is just intended as an overview of what constellation is and what the DAG token is. So I'm going to try to make this as logical as possible, but it has a ton of info here and I will expand much more on it in the near future. So it is an old map put together by the XX account, but I'm pretty sure that almost all of the core info here is accurate still. So it is a distributed network which enables fast, scalable solutions to process data securely and efficiently and is tailored to interoperability with connected devices and networks, which results in increased centralization and security, which might turn off a lot of crypto types, but if you're talking about concentrating on the US government and the Department of Vents, it is an important thing. I will explain its hypergraph HGTP technology a lot more, except I won't touch on it too much here. If you think about it as a new and much more efficient internet protocol, then you begin to understand what it is and its scale in terms of potential. It is a directed acyclic graph protocol and it doesn't have any transaction fees. Its primary wallet at this point is Stargazer, which supports DAG and ER20 tokens. And it was created by Stardust Collective who is a decentralized open source organization and Stardust concentrates on producing companion dApps and tools on Constellation. So if you haven't heard of it 
or if you haven't kept up with it because its price action hasn't exactly attracted a ton of attention on its own. As of 2023, it had an uh, official U.S. Department of Defense contract and was establishing U.S. DLT standards w with the NIST, which I think is the National Institute of Science and Technology. So as far as what has happened in 2024 so far, Constellation is involved in a U.S. governmental DAO that involves the National Science Foundation, Space Force, Department of Treasury, NASA, and the Department of Homeland Security. Government adoption has hardly started. However, it seems as if the U.S. has chosen its infrastructure. While doubting the hypergraph, the U.S. government seems quite certain moving forward.